Hello everyone, and welcome to join Vessel demo video. My name is Inte, and I'm a machine learning engineer at Vessel AI. Today, I'd like to introduce our product Vessel, an end-to-end -end MLOs platform that allows machine learning teams to build, train, and deploy models in scale as a team. Without further ado, let's get started. In this video, I'd like to create an object detection model by using Detectron 2 which is published by Facebook Research. This is the Tektron 2 GitHub repository. I'll just go through the collab.wik here and use the balloon dataset as a Microsoft Cocoa dataset format. So this is how Vessel Web Console looks like. You can create a project here. A typical version control type of Vessel project is created from the GitHub repository. I'm going to use the GitHub repository called Examples to create a project. Click the New Project button, and then click the Example GitHub repository. I'm going to name the project as Detectron2. If you click the Create button, then a new project will be created. If you click the New Experiment, you can see a few options to create an experiment. First of all, I'm going to set the recent commit as a GitHub reference. Next, I want to use the K80 GPU for the experiment and using the CUDA 10.1 images. For the start command, I'll just copy and paste from the GitHub README file. Now, we need to mount a dataset for this run. I'll mount the Balloon Coco dataset, which I've mentioned earlier. If you click the Add Dataset button, then the dataset will be mounted. You can load the dataset from root input path in your code. Finally, I want to set some environment variables. Learning rate, epoch, and batch sizes. I'm just going to set learning rate like this, epoch as 300, and batch size as 1 to 8. If you click the new experiment button, then the experiment will be created. We can find that experiment status changed into running. I'll create a few more experiments with different environment variables. I'll be right back. Okay, four experiments with different hyperparameters are created. All experiments are completed, as you can see in this column. Let's see the experiment details page of the second experiment. We have a configuration summary on the first tab. Next, we have a loss graph on the metrics tab. The descending loss indicates that the model trained properly. On the logs tab, we can find all the logs from the Docker containers. Metrics here and evaluation here. If you go to the files tab, you can find the input and output tabs. Input section shows the dataset used for training. We can also see the preview of the dataset, and you're able to download if you click this button. In the output section, I code it to save all the artifacts in the output folder. You can download this file likewise. On the System Metrics tab, you can find the uses of CPU, memory, and storage. Last but not least, I want to introduce this Reproduce button. You can create exactly the same experiment with the Web Console or CLI. If you just copy and paste this command, you can see that experiment 5 is running. You can also find that the fifth experiment is created with preparing status on the web console. With Vessel, you can train on spot instances as a cheaper option. We can also plug in an on-premise server to Vessel Moreover, Hyperparameter Sweep will help you to tune model. Check out the link below in the description and feel free to reach out to me. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.